Biometrics is one of the most sophisticated forms of restricting computer user access. Biometrics is a form of authentication used to govern access to systems, data, and facilities. Biometric strategies are being developed such as those based on gait, retina, hand veins, ear recognition, facial thermogram, DNA, odor, and palm prints. After the hijackings and attacks on September 11, 2001, the use of better security methods became a high priority for airports, large corporate buildings, and computers. Biometrics has the promise of providing very high security while at the same time authenticating people extremely efficiently, so the U.S. government and many companies are investigating how best to use this technology. Biometric characteristics can be divided into two main classes, physiological and behavioral. Physiological characteristics are related to the shape of the body. The oldest traits that have been used for more than 100 years are fingerprints. Other examples are face recognition, hand geometry, and iris recognition. Behavioral are related to the behavior of a person. Because biometrics are bound to an individual, they can't be shared, lost, stolen, or forgotten. Meaning they give the highest level of security available and can be used in place of sharing personal data such as checking or credit card account numbers with smart clubs. BioPay is a biometric payment service. When you enroll in BioPay, your finger is scanned. During the scanning process, the finger is assigned a number corresponding to random points on the finger. It is the number about the scan that is saved in the system and used as a form of payment at participating merchants. During enrollment, both of your index fingers are enrolled that way, if you have a cut, you can easily make a purchase with the other enrolled finger. Used almost exclusively in high-end security applications, the retina scan uses a low-intensity light source and a delicate sensor to scan the pattern of blood vessels at the back of the retina a pattern unique to each individual. During a retinal scan, the user must remove glasses, stare at a specific point, and hold their head for the 10-15 seconds it takes to complete the scan. A retinal scan is very difficult to fake because no technology exists that allows the forgery of the human retina. Retinal scanners are typically used for the authentication and identification purposes. Retinal scanning has been utilized by several government agencies, including the FBI, CIA, and NASA. However, in recent years, retinal scanning has become more commercially popular. Retinal scanning has been used in prisons for ATM identity verification and the provision of welfare fraud. Some states require mandatory retinal scans for truck and bus drivers. Scan results are used by state agencies to stop incompetent drivers from retaining licenses in numerous states in order to conceal their driving records. The error rate for a fingerprint identification is sometimes as high as 1 in 500. A retinal scan, on the other hand, boasts an error rate of 1 in 10 million. Its close cousin, the iris scan, is slightly less precise, maintaining an error rate of approximately 1 in 131,000. Facial recognition systems are computer-based security systems that are able to automatically detect and identify human faces. These systems depend on a recognition algorithm. The first step for a facial recognition system is to recognize a human face and extract it from the rest of the scene. The system measures nodal points on the face, such as the distance between the eyes, the shape of the cheekbones, and other distinguishable features. New technologies are currently in development to create three-dimensional models of a person's face based on a digital photograph in order to create more nodal points for comparison. However, such technology is inherently susceptible to error given that the computer is extrapolating the three-dimensional model from the two-dimensional model. 